So we have the uh, preauricular lymph nodes that are here. We have the postauricular lymph nodes that are here. We have occipital lymph nodes that are present back here. We have the posterior triangle lymph nodes that are present here. We have the submandibular triangle lymph nodes that are present here, submental lymph nodes, and then the internal jugular chain lymph nodes that are present palpating deep to the sternocleidomastoid muscle. I'll now sh demonstrate to you the proper technique for palpation. This can either be done from an anterior approach or a posterior approach. Uh, both are uh, acceptable. So, we first feel for preauricular lymph nodes, postauricular lymph nodes, occipital lymph nodes. I'm using the balls of my uh, thumbs here to feel. Then we can do the internal jugular chain lymph nodes first by feeling for that anterior edge of the sternocleidomastoid muscle and then palp in insinuating our fingers and palpating deep to the sternocleidomastoid muscle to feel for those uh, to feel for those nodes. We have the posterior triangle lymph nodes that are present between the anterior border of the trapezius muscle and the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Down here are the supracavicular lymph nodes and then the infracavicular lymph nodes. We can also palpate the thyroid gland uh, 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 in the midline. Again, we take our finger, roll it up till we feel the the uh, the uh, cricoid cartilage. Below the cricoid cartilage sits the thyroid isthmus, and we palpate. I can insinuate my finger then between the sternocleidomastoid muscle and the trachea, and try to feel the right thyroid lobe, and similarly the left thyroid lobe. If we do, if I did feel a mass in Brittany, I would give her a glass of water and have her drink. As the tracheal, the laryngotracheal apparatus will move superiorly and inferiorly as she swallows, and because the thyroid gland is attached to the laryngotracheal apparatus, and if that mass were originating from the thyroid gland, it should also move up and down.